it's Mr. Bradley back with yet another video. I'm coming to you with a different type of video, not a daddy day off, not a rant, but it is sort of a cleaning video. Uh, we moved into this house about four months ago um, and everything's been coming along. We've been pretty much getting everything together. The yard's coming together. All the furniture is up. All of, for the most part, all the other major pieces in the house is up. But it's been one thing I've been avoiding the entire time we've been here. Yeah, that would be my closet. <laughs> and for a simple reason, I work uh, a job that is pretty demanding. I'm at work a lot of the time. So I'm not really in street clothes a whole lot. So the need to get my closet in the tip top shape has not really been a pressing matter at all. So I've been avoiding this task for a very long time. A little insight, me and the wife probably do date night maybe once every couple weeks. Uh, we go hang out, maybe go hang out with our friends. Uh, maybe once a month or something like that uh, and I haven't been out to kick it with my boys or anything like that at all since I've been here so the need to get my closet together has not been there at all but we are hosting a what you want to call housewarming kind of weekend after 4th of July event and people are going to want to see the house they're going to want to see how things look they want to see how things are flowing all that and unfortunately my closet is part of that so i have to get this thing together i'm gonna take you guys inside this wonderful mess and let you see what it look like all right so yeah this is a overview of what the closet looked like beforehand like i told you guys earlier just a complete and utter mess no rhyme no reason for anything the shoes i guess you can say are semi-organized but as you can see here they're all over the floor some shoes are in boxes some shoes are on top of boxes like I said, really not a rhyme or reason for anything. The few clothes that I do have hung up are clothes that we actually hung up when we came to look at the house before we actually moved in, like on a random weekend when we would come in here. It's just a mess, man. I'm in a shame that I lived in this house for three and a half months and have done nothing to get this closet together. So the next thing I had to do was just actually start attacking this thing. Like get some organization to this closet, get this stuff where it needs to go, and shoes where they need to go, night clothes where they need to go, and just get it set up. Like this this is a random tote of my wife's shoes. How they ended up in my closet, probably just lazy and do lazy during the moving process and then somehow I ended up in there and I haven't been in there and yeah. Like that Ed Hardy t-shirt probably should have been thrown away years ago. But I'm hanging on to it because, yeah, during my young phase, I probably paid a lot of money for that shirt. And I really regret it now. But these are the type of things you find when you go through your closet and actually get it organized. Um, as you can see here, I just got like t-shirts and there's hangers everywhere. It's just clothes everywhere. So I just had to get in here and actually put some work to it. So yeah, after um, folding up most of the clothes and getting some kind of organization to the closet, my next task was to actually get the clothes hung up that I wear on an everyday basis. And part of that was getting the clothes, my winter clothes actually put away. That's my I like Cleveland before it was cool t-shirt. I love that t-shirt because it symbolizes Cleveland. Um, we're not just a fad, Cleveland is dope all the time. Anyway though, yeah, so just getting these clothes put up, put them in a toast, get them down into the basement, bring those back out when it's actually time to to wear winter clothes. So yeah, after getting some organization to that, my next task is to actually get the t-shirts and things of that nature that I work on a semi-regular basis, I guess you would say my casual clothes. I'm a pretty simple dude. Most of my clothing, when I'm not in work clothes, consists of graphic t-shirts and polos. As you can see, the little poke, hand poking in, that was my daughter and my wife checking to see what I was doing. But yeah, like I was saying, most of my t-shirts are like graphic t-shirts. I love things that like stand out or get somebody attention or for somebody to say, man, I really like that t-shirt. Those are the kind of shirts that I like to wear. Or when I'm like supporting the Browns, like Browns, Cavs, Indians, like 
I am Cleveland through and through, as you can see from the t-shirt that I'm wearing. Might be our last one. Championship week, Eastern Conference Championship we get with Mr. James no longer in the building, but regardless, I'm still a Cavs fan through and through. So yeah, I'm just attacking this. I had put a lot of these clothes to the side when I was going through all that stuff on the floor there. And I just knew these was the shirts and things that I needed to get actually hung up and put up in the closet so I have easy access to it. My Goonies t-shirt, I love the Goonies. If you've never seen that movie, I would advise checking it out. It is a classic. So next thing I did here is attacking my shoes. I just wanted to get them all out of the boxes, get them within eye level so I'm able to see them. So when I'm getting dressed for the day, they're within eyes view and I can know what shoe goes best with my outfit. It was like before I had to like open all these boxes. Do I like this shoe? Do I like that shoe? Now just get them all out of the box and onto the shelves. I can see everything. It just makes better for when I'm getting dressed for the day. And that will do it for the shoes. So yeah, I got everything out of the boxes, got all the shoes up on the rack, got everything with an eyes view. I feel like this just makes the closet flow that much better. What you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. And that will do it for my closet transformation, guys. As you can see, we started off with clutter and mess everywhere and ended up with some really good organization and a really functional flowing closet. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, don't forget to thumbs up this video. Also, hit that notification bell so you can know when we got more videos coming in the future. I appreciate you guys checking out the video. And until next time, peace.